love left, I'll do right by you I'll be your everything, your blue sky Back to the professional step that show i am your host franco zavala thank you guys very much for joining me today this is episode 174 of the show so i have i got an email i want to answer this quick question um i was asked why i have not been putting you know a, an episode out as often as i usually do and mainly it's just because kind of gone back to the drawing board revamping the website and we are um creating and developing some things that i can give to you guys to for you to download for you to you know to have at the house so that you can you know use for um your day-to-day -day life as a stepdad in your blended family so i'm working on it it takes time so but i wanted to, to come on today and today's episode is going to be specifically focused on um a stepdad that i talked to his name is ben awesome guy he's got a lot of great goals and these big picture ideas for him and his family. Um, he's His partner has one daughter who's older from a, a previous relationship and then they just recently had their first daughter. So some of the things that he is dealing with is very, very common for a lot of stepdads. And so, and it's so common and so relevant that, you know, I could talk about it on today's show and it can help you make and maintain the connections with your stepkids in a way where you don't feel like you're losing ground or you don't feel like you've wasted time or you don't feel like um, defeated or, yeah, well, defeated would be the best way to put it. So let me just kind of fill you in on, on his situation, just like a lot of, a lot of stepdads. For him, everything was going perfect, you know, um, his stepdaughter wanted a father figure. He was more than happy to be that for her daughter, for his, uh, for his daughter. And, um, you know, life began to overwhelm Ben to the point where trying to really get a good foothold on what he wanted to do with it as far as career goes. He wants to make sure that he provides for his family, that he can secure a home for them. There's a lot of things that are that he's balancing, that's the best way I can put it. There's a lot of things that he's balancing and the relationship with him and his daughter, like I said, started strong, but then began to fall off to the point where she was no longer talking or communicating or recognizing him as the father figure in her life. And you could tell that she was kind of letting the rope go. Like she didn't, she, she had him close and the relationship was good. And then the relationship started to, to separate and it wasn't, because it wasn't because he he like had bad intentions or you know it wasn't that his daughter began to just not like him for some reason out of nowhere because he was abusive or something like that it was really simply the amount of time that they spent with each other and then circumstances changed covid hit and their activities that they were doing with one another ended up going away and because of that, the relationship, a wedge was put in that relationship with him and his daughter. And the wedge was quality time. So he, like I said, being a good father, a good provider, a good man, began to overwork and overstress himself in his life as far as wanting to be able to provide and to lead and to be that person for um, his partner and, and her daughter. But when the new, you know, now they have, they have a new baby. So a, more added pressure, more like I need to succeed. Something has to happen right now. And we tend to do that as men. We tend to, to try to find our passion, try to find our purpose. And we forget to balance that with our family, especially when we're in a blended family situation, because the balance is so key. Yes, you have to have patience, but the balance has to be there as well. And what we tend to do is we tend to build these relationships with our kids, with our partner, and then we slip up or, you know, we kind of revert back to our old habits and our old ways. And we forget what it took to get where we were as far as our relationships go. And for, for Ben, his, his, the only disconnect that he had was the amount of time, energy, and effort that he was putting into spending those moments and that that the quality quality moments with his daughter, but 
he he forgot that in order for you to maintain the relationships within your home, you have to just listen. You have to shut up and listen. You have to pay attention to your surroundings. You have to you have to ask questions, stepdad. Hey, I noticed that you and I are not on the same level that we were on, you know, four or five months ago. I would like to be the very best leader, father, mentor, teacher that I can be for you. Please tell me, how can I do better? What can I do? You know, these questions that you can ask, asking her, your partner the same thing. Hey, honey, what do you see? How can I, how can I be better? What can I work on? You guys, every one of us have a problem doing that, especially, I mean, especially if we feel like we didn't do anything wrong. When in reality, we have to remember that we're setting the tone for the family. And we have to make sure that we balance the relationships, balance time, energy, effort. We have to balance everything and balance our, our outside life, stay healthy, you know, go after what we want to do in this world as far as our purpose. So my, my advice to him, my advice to Ben, again, is so similar to a lot of other stepdads, is that trust me, she wants the relationship with you. She wants to be close. She wants to talk. She wants to spend time. But because you're not speaking her love language, because you are not including her in what's going on with your busy life, she doesn't feel like you want her around. And she doesn't feel like she can contribute in any way. Now, the way she was, she's she's an artist. This little girl's an artist and she likes to be at a drawing table and she likes to spend time reading books. And he, Ben, was raised on a very adventurous, very outdoorsy, um, hiking in, in the, I mean, they live in Costa Rica. And Ben started to say things and react to, to his stepdaughter in ways that his parents used to do. Like, why are you in your room? Why don't you get outside? Why don't you go play? All this stuff. But, you know, she's an artist. And she, this, is, this is her play. This is her, you know, this is what she loves to do. And Ben lost sight of that. So a couple of things that I suggested was that you include her. I mean, you want to, you're trying to build the business yourself, Ben. How can you include your daughter? Even if you don't use any of the things that she does, how can you include her in your day-to-day -day activities where she can feel that she's contributing to your success? And guess what? Getting the smile, getting the acceptance, building re the relationship back up will then feed into your day-to-day -day life, Ben, to where you can go after what it is that you want to do with more purpose, with more, with more vigor, but more confidence that you're doing what you have to do in order to find and maintain the balance in your home. And that's what we do, stepdads. We do this all the time. We start off strong and then we revert back to our old habits. And because we're not doing the self work, we tend to, to react and overreact to things that we probably should not be overreacting to because we're not listening, because we're trying to solve everyone's problems instead of listening to what everyone is saying taking you know how hard it is especially like for, for me taking criticism on what i'm doing as a father and as a as a husband i mean i i guess sometimes i feel like i'm like i'm here what you know, i'm not i haven't gone i've been here for over you know 10 years like why are you telling me this now? Like, oh, this is my pride it's this thing inside me that i need to, i need to still let go of a lot of the times so Every one of us struggle with it. All men, all stepdads, all stepmom, we all struggle with it. Like this criticism, it's called honest criticism to help you grow. And I guess that it's also a way that you deliver it, but that's that's how you, that's working with the communication with you and your partner. Working the communication with you and your, and your, and your kids. So this, this all kind of stems back to what I'm always talking about. You gotta work on yourself first. You gotta figure out, you know, how to, how to maintain your balance. You gotta work on you and your relationship with mom. And you, you know, if, if it's strong and you and you and you're presenting a united front, there's no problem that you can't handle together in the family. You have to be on the same page. And when it comes to if you feel like the relationships with all the work and the relationships that you've built built with your stepkids, you feel it slipping away. It's not that it's slipping away. It's not. It's still there. It just it's going to require you to do more work. 
there, you're never stop, you never stop learning about your kids. As they grow, they change. And as they change, their likes and dislikes change. And you have to be, you know, with your ear to the, to the grindstone, you have to be listening. You have to be asking questions and trying, don't try so hard, but more important, lead by example. So that's, that's some of the advice that I told Ben. Ben's got a lot of, um, a lot on his plate, but he, he, but he can do it just like everyone of you can do it. You can all find success in your blended family. If you can get out of your own way, if you can understand and make peace with that, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to revert back to your old habits and routines. But if you're doing the self work, you can, you can begin to control and to, you know, manipulate how to handle things that you're self-sabotaging, the things that are not working so that you can become better for your family, be, you can become a better leader for, 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 uh, for yourself. You can, you can become dependable and reliable in your job or whatever career you're starting to go after because you know that the excuses aren't there. You know, it's real easy for us to point fingers and make excuses and say it's their fault. But in reality, it all will come back to us. And I think you all know that. So, yeah, Ben, I hope that helps. And like I said, just keep going, brother. You're doing a great job, a great, amazing job. If nobody's ever told you that, or if you haven't heard that enough, you're hearing it right now. You are doing an amazing job, stepdad, and you're valued and you're needed and you're wanted. And you just have to remember that it's going to take time, patience, and put in the work. Make sure you're listening. All right, guys, that's episode 174 of the show. Thank you guys very much. Once again, I'm blessed, humbled, and grateful for each and every one of you. I promise I'll be putting out more shows frequently, especially now that the website's almost done. We're going to move forward. I'm excited about the future. If you have not gone to the website and taken a look and, and got your free download for the Mia STEM method, I highly recommend that you do it, Stepdads. The professionalstepdad.com. Just go straight over to the free PDF download, and away you go. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Be well. Hey, thanks for listening to the show. Listen, if you know a stepdad who is in need of any of this information, do me a favor right now. Hit that subscribe button and share this episode with them as fast as possible. Did you do it? You, okay, you did it. Quiet on the set, please. Thank you, everybody.